Good day, jazz lovers. We are always looking for ideas to make videos for this channel. We thought that maybe you might consider learning something a little bit different. Now, there's a little bit of a story behind this because I did play this song at a concert back in 2003, which was a long time ago. And that concert was completely recorded and I have a DVD here for it. And I'm gonna open it in a second. Well, actually, let me just open it right now because I actually haven't heard this in a long time. Let me see if I can get this open. There we go. We actually had to hunt for this because I, I didn't really have a copy of it anywhere. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the DVD and I'm gonna convert it into a video file and, and post it here in this video. And it's the tune Music Box Dancer. Now I totally get, it's not a jazz tune. You may have heard it before. And then it goes to the bridge. Now it's three chords, but there's a lot you can do with that. And you're gonna hear that in the DVD. Now, the reason why we did this is because I had this producer, his name was Bruce Davidson. And he said, you know, Paul, your music needs to be a little more accessible. So what I did was I took some music that people knew, and this is a very popular song, by the way, uh, by Frank Mills, which is Music Box Dancer. I would take it and do something else with it. So I'd start off with something like the audience recognized, and then I'd turn it into something else. So I want you to listen to it because I, I think it's a good idea that we start tackling things like this because you want to be accessible. You want your audience to kind of dig what you're doing. And I'm telling you, this audience was into it. You'll hear it in the recording that I play for you, but, and, and that's what you want. You want your audience to kind of give them what they want and then you can give them what you want. It's kind of like you have to help them understand the music first before they can get into like jazz. Now I was a really, modern jazz piano player. And if you hit them over the head with that at the beginning of a concert, they'd be like, why did I even buy a ticket to this thing? And there's like a thousand people in this audience. So you'll kind of see the reaction. I'll play it for you. Don't judge the pants. <laughs> Everybody's like, well, are those leather pants? It was like, yeah, you can, you can take a look at it. And if that's the only thing you're focusing on, that's great. But try to focus on the music. I think we had like a string quartet there and it was kind of fun. But if you can get past all of that, just listen to the music. And then if you want to do a tutorial on that, I can probably make a backing track. Well, I will make a backing track and a piece of music to kind of help you play this. And it might be fun to do. Let me play it for you. And then I'll come back and say a few words.
<laughs> okay, well, again, if, if you can get the whole leather pants thing out of your mind, <laughs> I was younger then and it was the style, I don't know, whatever. Then just let me know if, if you know, make a comment if you, if you think it's a good idea to do, because it does, it's going to take me some time to put this together and get some music for you and whatever. So if you don't want to do it, we won't do it. But if you want to do it, just let me know and I'll go ahead and do it. It really only takes one person to say, yeah, that sounds like fun. And uh, we'll do Music Box Dancer. I hope you heard some of the different chords that was in there. It was definitely, you know, not the standard version. couple of key changes and things like that. Always fun to do. Let me know if you want to do it and we'll do it. Thanks for your time. <laughs>